Hey there, Boots Owen here. Over on my left is a Master Volt. It's a big solar inverter with a number on it. Uh, type XS4300SW. Input 100 to 550 volts DC. Output 230 volts AC. It's a 3300 watt, so 3300 watt machine. Part number 13104300, Master Volt. And do we have a date on it? There's a serial number. Can't guess for a date off those codes. Somebody might know. It's got kind of like a handle on the bottom, which makes it easier to carry. It's got what looks like four RS485s in there, but I think it's two and two of something else. M in a circle, I don't know what that is. Master Volt, maybe. It's got a DC switch on it which is kind of fun and a display what have i got here i've got power coming in here to uh variac over here so i'll probably put that there from the variac it goes through this plug and cable over to the isolation transformer that's been rewired to step up rather than down so it goes from 220 volts maximum up to 440 volts rather than the way it's meant to go, which is down. But that breaks the bond between the uh, power in and power out of this system, which is a bit confusing, because we're going to take power out of the grid on this extension lead and put it back into the grid, hopefully, if this machine works. So from there, we're getting an AC voltage to this AC-DC rectifier. It's a big, heavy rectifier, metal cased with a big heat sink on it. Then we've got a smoothing capacitor and a bleed resistor in here from there we've got dc power coming out over to over to the master volt uh, grid tight solar inverter uh, dc switch on that and ac coming in here from the plug let's plug it in let's get the voltage up so very you are let's bring that over here so you can see that there we go glare free power uh Ooh, which one first? AC on. Into the master volt. Where's my DC? That's the Variac plugged in. So I've got a load of these solar inverters recently from auctions and from people who scrap them and whatnot. Let's turn on the DC here. Good satisfying clunk. It's kind of a lightweight machine this as they go, but uh, we need to get up to 100, so I need to get this over 50. Let's hit it about there. And it should wake up, all being well, unless I've forgotten something. Nothing, nothing. Now, I, I can't tell if anybody's been in here before. Oh, something. UAC low. Don't know what that means. VAC, VAC, voltage low. That's a strange one. Uh, today. That's total 2035 kilowatt hours, I would say. Model, England. X54300 or XS. Today, zero kilowatt hours. Today, zero. Okay, that's all those buttons. Sleep. Don't know what that is. This button. This button. Serial number. Firmware DS 2.04 XS 0904. Error. So it's waiting to start. So it's got a... It's got to wait for two minutes to begin. So, so far we're doing okay here. Uh, it wants over 100 volts to wake up. I was told that this is the, um, one of the chintzier types of solar inverter. Are we giving you a full look at it? That's it there. Master volt. It's got two inputs. It's got a DC switch. So it's kind of useful if it would work as it is. Uh, 3 kilowatt or 3.3 kilowatt and 100 volt start so in theory you could get this going off three four panels four panels i guess and four panels would be a natty little machine to have you know on the roof of a shed or something like that 
probably not as efficient as it could be if it was running full whack but also it'll probably never die if it's running under its capacity so you know that's pretty tidy if it would work uh, i got this off ian matthews he's a fellow youtuber you could check out his channel ian gets them for scrap and passes them on and i got three off him so far there was a sad sun uno that i tested and it has a relay error which is not a big deal because you can just replace the relays now, that's not always the end of it the relay could be you know the start of a load of problems but i have a similar model so it might be good for spares if another relay goes in my one or something like that i got a sma sunny boy which worked initially but then i couldn't get it to work when i was playing with it yesterday there's a video of that up as well and then this um what was this one called <laughs> master volt is the third now what i would like master volt made a much smaller unit like half a kilowatt unit basically you know that size there kind of bigger than a pint glass maybe a little bit bigger than a pint glass that you know runs a panel or two and a few of those would be handy because you could just put two panels on a bit of roof and a little thing that just plugs into the wall basically now but i don't have one of those master volts and this is a bigger thing five seconds to go then we should hear some relays hopefully it'll start hopefully it'll all be okay relays none i don't know what none means hmm it says AC grid up here. We're not getting any numbers out of it yet. Don't know what the lights mean. There's a light in here. Oh, so error is none. Well, that's good, but that's not generating is it uh, what am i doing actual solar zero watts 110 volts so that's kind of the same fault that was happening with that sma so i wonder if i'm getting struggling to get a current out of my system we're getting the voltage we're not getting any current for some reason Oh, I've cranked up the voltage just ever so slightly, and I hear a fan coming on. It's registering. We've gone up, well, it's gone up a little bit more. So let's see if we're getting a wattage out of that. Oh, we're getting an amp. So we're getting thir well, degrees, 13. Yeah, we're getting something. So it needed a little bit more to get it to wake up. Yesterday or the day before when I was playing with this Variac, I managed to get smoke to come out of it. Now I think that's because it was probably on a shelf unused for 20 or 30 years and it was full of dust. I vacuumed the dust out, but it's a sign that it's getting hot if if it's um doing that. So you know at the face of it this machine seems to work. Now I think I gave Ian 60 quid on the basis that it was 25, 25, and 10 for this machine, so 25 for the two other machines. Mostly because there's no weight in this, and uh, if I was going to scrap it, I'd get nothing back for it. Can smell smokiness. Smell a bit of, you know, electrical flavour. But I think it's just... Keep an eye on the Variac there in case we get wavy smoke lines coming out of it. I have a bigger Variac that needs to come in. Now, why has it gone to zero? 119 watts. 200 volts, 219 volts, amps, 0 0.6, 50 hertz, which is just matching it to the frequency in the G83 rules, 13 degrees. Why did it go to zero there? Maybe that was total day, is it? Don't know what this thing is. Uh, let's give it, I'd like to see, not current, I'd like to see oh, kilowatt hours. I'd like to see kilowatts, watts. No, watts is what I'd like to see, isn't it, of course? Watts, 113. Let's give it a little bit more. Yeah, it's going up. 200 watts, 222. So it's running at about one amp. Yeah, it's it's getting hot that Variac now. A little bit. It's not hot, but it's getting warmer. 
So I'm going to wind it down a little bit to about 60. The current's dropping right down. Yeah, I can smell, I can smell this stuff burning off it. So it's getting a bit hot. It's meant to be a three, oh, but it'll be three amp. No, it's, it's on the AC side, so it shouldn't really matter that much. 20 watts, 219 volts, that's a bit high. It's not, it doesn't feel right to me. Let's wind it down a bit more. There might be a delay on this. There's a fan inside this, and I don't know that I've come across a solar inverter with a fan. I don't want to get any more out of this Variac, because I have a bigger one outside and I don't need to kill it. Um, current 0.2. Now it's gone to sleep, because it's only got one watt coming out of it. I think it's got a higher voltage, that's not right. Or is that the AC side? Solar, yes, of course. Okay, so my voltage is now that. Current 0 0.2. 28 out. Okay, so you can choose solar or AC grid. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what this thing is here, but I'm guessing that 100 is if you're doing 3300 watts coming out of it. Actual day total. 2.0351 kilowatt hours. So this machine was probably just decommissioned either to upgrade or to renew a system or something like that. There's no smoke coming out of it and it's not getting too hot. I'm just keeping a sharp eye on that. System, that's the system. Oh, right, so stuff. So to actual today, actual, okay, day, yesterday. Okay, so we can run back. I kind of like messing with these things. I wonder how far back we can go. Maybe a month or thereabouts total. Total hours, 50194. Total kilowatt hours, total hours. Okay, so that's how much it was in the sun. So you can say there, then if it's running for basically 50,000 hours and putting out 20,000, so it's running probably under one kilowatt hour, one kilowatt most of the time, I don't know, half a kilowatt, under half a kilowatt most of the time. Um, solar, I don't know what we're on there, totals. Don't see that it makes much difference really. System, sleep, I don't know what that means. England. Oh, we're at model, serial, firmware, no errors. So, right, 15 minutes of testing. I'm quite happy that this is okay. Let's shut the DC down and see what happens. It's just dying straight away. So I'll turn the DC off there, oh, this way as well. A DC switch on a machine is pretty good because it means you don't need to buy another one. That's useful. And plug it out. both plugs out so there you go that master volt seems to be working that's a successful test i would say the only thing we haven't done is a full load test we would need to put a serious amount of current through it i'm not entirely sure how it draws current because with the solar the more the solar is kind of pushing the current into it from the dc side i don't really get how it works with the variac maybe someone can tell me about that in the comments because this the Variac is just giving it something, but it's not pushing or pulling as far as I can tell. Maybe you know. Let's just put my hand over here. That uh, That's nice and cold as well, that heat sink. That's excellent. So the system works. Great. Master Volt, you're a winner. Questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, that helps me out. And give the video a like if this is the kind of thing you like. Thanks for watching. See you later.